Stop crime, stay anonymous, and earn up to $1,000 with Crime Stoppers Honolulu. Leading the way is our Sarge in charge. Sergeant Chris Kim is here, and usually he's here on Wednesdays, and we apologize to all the people that emailed asking, hey, what a Sarge in charge day? So, you know, we, he's here today. Yes, it worked, yes, it yes. worked. And then he's here now, <laughs> and we, we got some crime to tackle mm -hmm. today, right? So let's get to our cases. Shoot. This case, case number one, we head out to Salt Lake, and this one, which is apropos because of our first suspect, is all salty. In fact, we're calling him the thwarted thief. Tell us what happened. <laughs> so on Sunday, June 2nd, 2024, about 1.26 p.m., uh, this male went over to the Salt Lake Target and attempted to steal a moped, uh, but at some point he got spooked and he dropped in the moped. He dropped, he stopped and dropped and he rolled out of there. Yeah, you uh, see him right here. You know, this video isn't the greatest, but the reason why we're showing this, it kind of has an educational tool. We wanted to let people know, for those of you that do have bicycles or mopeds, uh, just make sure that you securely lock it, especially something to hopefully an affixed object, uh, not just sticking a chain or the lock just through the tire, uh, or, or don't only trust on the ignition lock as well. So once again, as an educational tool, always lock and secure your, your moped or, and or bicycles. Yeah, and we're just kind of looping this video over here, and just you see him just like, man, I guarantee it was all scraped up. Oh yeah, guarantee. So, and again, Salt Lake uh, Target. All right, uh, Sarge, our next case. This suspect, uh, we're calling the baboos at the bus stop. Sarge, what happened? Okay, as far as the baboos, on Saturday, June 15, 2024, about 3.08 p.m., uh, this baboos right here got upset and threw a metal pipe at the bus window, causing it to shatter on the shattered glass and fell onto a passenger, causing injuries. Oh, uh, this being this classified as a criminal property damage in the first degree. He'd been described as an unknown man late 20s to early 30s with a thin build, wearing a blue T-shirt, uh, green shorts, and light blue shoes. Mm. Yeah, and you can't really see, uh, like, you can't really see him. This video is a little bit, um, you know, too dark. But, uh, yeah, if you got any information, um, give the sergeant charge and his team yes, a call. Yes, please. That's right. And finally, the last case happened at a Mexican restaurant in IEA. Please tell us about the two amigos. Okay, the two amigos on June 14, 2024, about 3.24 a.m., uh, they were captured on video surveillance breaking into the El Charo Mexican restaurant in the IEA area. Uh, suspect one broke in and then stole a safe containing money uh, and put it in the... Um, the getaway vehicle driven by unknown suspect number two. Uh, they fled in a red Honda, uh, I believe it's, a, I'm sorry, red Mazda CXV uh, SUV. If you know anything about these cases or the other cases we talked about, please contact the Crime Stoppers. Uh, they can also see all these cases we talked about on the www.honolulu.org website, bottom left-hand corner, under wanted persons, as well as all the other cases that we need help uh, from the community in helping us solve. I absolutely love that. Uh, it seems that a lot of people are, um, or businesses are taking your advice, mm -hmm. and they're uh, installing cameras and having yes. the video surveillance, because yes. uh, that really helps. Uh, you guys. Yeah, definitely. But we also want to encourage, as far as that last video that we showed, if you are going to utilize the safe, make sure that you actually secure it onto the floor. Mm -hmm. you now, sometimes people think, okay, I have a safe, they won't be able to open it. But in a situation, as we saw right here, they'll just they carry just it out or with a hand out. truck. Yes. Right. Yeah. All right, Sarge. Thank you so much again Thank for you. being with us. And again, we apologize to uh, the Sergeant Charge fans for uh, you know having to move you to Shifting today. Shifting his days. But you know, if you want to see the Sergeant Charge, you're gonna be someplace this weekend, right? Well, yeah. So this Saturday, we're celebrating the 20th annual uh, Korean Festival. Yeah. And I will be the MC there. Oh. So if you want to see more of the Sergeant Charge, come and check out the Korean Festival. It'll be held this Saturday at the uh, Kakako Park off Alamona Boulevard, next to the car dealerships. And we got a great lineup, you know. There's also a K-pop group, uh, Spia, that flew in from Korea as well to what? perform. They're making the they are make the America debut here in Hawaii. Wow, yeah. that'd be awesome, right? Sergeant Charles, thank you so much. Thank you. Can he Sergeant hang out Kim? with us for a little bit? Yeah, sing happy birthday with us if you don't mind. Well, not at all. All right, we're gonna <laughs> take a quick break, and we got your birthdays coming up next.